Are you ready to take your website design skills to the next level? Today we are diving into the exciting world of Bricks Extras. Add-on, the ultimate tool to expand your capabilities within Bricks Builder. Stay tuned until the end for exclusive tips and tricks that will leave you amazed and inspired. The Bricks Visual Builder for WordPress is becoming popular among WordPress users for its intuitive drag-and-drop interface and powerful features. The Bricks Extra WordPress add-on for Bricks Builder is a library of 36 advanced elements and features designed to expand the capabilities of Bricks Builder, a WordPress theme and page builder. And the add-on offers dynamic elements, creative tools, and features with a focus on accessibility, flexibility, and performance, aims to provide developers with the ability to create dynamic sites, extend their design and functionality options, and take advantage of dynamic data and query loops. And the add-on also emphasizes front-end and back-end speed, support, and ex extensive documentation. Let's take a look into examples of advanced elements such as interactive sliders, testimonials, pricing tables, and more. First, a compelling in interactive slider with auto scrolls and these auto scrolls is displayed across the page made from a custom post type opening bricks builder add the brew slider from bricks extras by default it comes with two sliders any content within is fully customizable the sliders height are automatically defined by on the content of the slides it uses the Splat javascript library the same Bricks Builder uses, and the only configuration needed is its width. You determine here the number of slides to be displayed, and in a few seconds we will define the width by breakpoint. In addition, you can set its width manually by a fixed width, and we can set also the gap between slides. It works very well with custom post type. I have already set up a custom post type with some metadata. I activate the query loop of the, the slide, and this way the slider will populate it with the custom post type and advanced custom fields data. Selecting my heading, I will pull in dynamically the post title by using dynamic tags. And now let's insert an image dynamically to pull in dynamically the future image. We can stylize the image. And for this basic text element, you can pull in the subtitle from ACF. We can duplicate the basic text instead of the ACF subtitle. We will pull in the ACF description like this. So at the moment, it looks like this. Let's change the breakpoint for mobile devices now for desktop. Three. To the table portrait, I set two, and for the remaining ones, one. If we want to set as a full width slider, you will first need to define a 100% width for the container. Another great feature is the ability you have to set the inner spacing and layout. And this is absolutely vital, it's pretty cool, to align the layout space across the slides. So select the Pro Slider, you can align at the top, center or end and align vertically. Now let's take a quick look into interactions and behaviors and user interactions. You have control over the slider user interaction with the lazing loading images, the user interaction and the flick power. 
And this option is the overall ash navigation. It's enabled is making the slider with the URL ash, the interaction behavior. You can control here the type. Do you want as a loop, as a slide or fade? I want mine to be a loop. So my slides never stops running. Another great controls are this one auto play scroll. You can enable as an auto played with intervals, auto scroll or none. And you can set here the speed. If you want to pause on over or when on focus, you can also enable the slider sync, inner animations to re-trigger the inner animation set. And you can also disable the slider if, if you haven't enough sliders to fill the slider viewport. Another great, great feature is this one, the ability to have dynamic galleries for slides by using plugins like ACF or Metabot. Finally, let's check if this is a responsive slider. What I like most is the simplicity of the UI design and flexibility it provides. And with this add-on, you just need to install a single plugin to achieve all of these features. Really incredible. It's an enticing pro slider. Now for the rest of this video, I go through nearly all of the Briggs Extra features. It's impossible to cover them all. I will do my best to showcase you the ones I think are the most to make a website visually appealing. You can use this video background using Jarlax. Jarlax is the popular open source JavaScript library, which makes adjusting CSS based on interactions. And with this Jarlax JavaScript library, it's easy to create a parallax scrolling effect, making the website interactive at your fingertips. Here's the demo to showcase this interactive, beautiful, brick section. You just press the click to copy in order to copy the section. You paste it inside your page template. This is a vertical image accordion. I love this effect. On over displays this phenomenal panel content. Vertical image accordion style providing a combined look making a look really impressive. You can customize it and edit the text. And if the user is on tablets or mobiles, the panel content shows up on clicks. You can display this before and after image in your shop or any other detail page. I've just dropped the bricks extras before and after widget, configure the start position, the before and after direction, the slider icons, and my images. It's a wholesome effect and I think it helps to stand out from the crowd. The plugin is fully integrated with Bricks Builder and Advanced Custom Fills plugin. Another outstanding example, a grid of posts with a beautiful light box displaying images when clicked. You enable the dynamic lightbox element of Bricks Extras and this allows you to display an advanced custom field gallery of images with a dynamic tag applied to. A post carousel displaying off of the next slide next to the active one. Overall, using a post carousel like this with a half display next slide enhances user experience, improves the browsing experience and has a visual appealing look to your e-commerce platforms. With the Bricks Extra Pro slider element, you can display this magnificent look. Overall, the carousel with a zoom in center slide is an effective way to showcase feature content while providing users with a visual engaging and intuitive browsing experience. Users can focus on the content of the center slide without distractions from the surrounding slides resulting in a much more engaging and enjoyable experience, helping them to understand the content and encourage exploration of others. Next up, I want to show this dynamic post light box grid. You will use the Bricks Extra dynamic light box element overall when clicked on any of the post feature image. In the grid, it will showcase the post title, the feature image, the post content, along with a read more button within the 
light box. Within the query loop category with Bricks Extra plugin, you can display a grid of five posts being the latest one on the left side. And this is done with a single query loop uses variables from ACSS. The feature image and a short excerpt will only appear for the initial post that, that highlights them. Look at these posts grouped by categories. This is a post query loop within a categories query loop, making it much more cleaner and easy to read. And next, have you ever wondered how to display incrementing numbers for the list items? Well, with Bricks Extra feature, you can display this awesome design layout. This is achieved by using a query loop with CSS counter to display your list items beautifully. If you want to display a product slider with vertical thumbnails, then Bricks Extras plugin as the solution. You will need Bricks Extras and the Pro Slider element to display your variable products in an enticing. You can display your products in a gallery thumbnail slider layout. You display the product images as small thumbnails arranged in a slider. Users can navigate through these thumbnails using navigation arrows or swipe gestures. And this is achieved by using a combination of Bricks Extra plugin along Advanced Custom Fields Pro. Bricks Extras is the one and only Bricks add-on I use with Bricks Builder. There's nothing left. Features, support, accessibility, designs. The next thing you should do now is to watch this next video you are having on the screen to learn how to create a dynamic grid card in Bricks Builder. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. See you next time. My name is Natalie. Bye.